Hi everyone, my name is Amy Souza, and some of you may know me as Known Heretic on Twitter. Today I'm going to do a two-part video. Uh, we're going to do a compare and contrast between the story Brenda is a Sheep and the traditional story of Little Red Riding Hood. So the first part of the video is just going to go through the Brenda is a Sheep story. I want to make sure everyone is familiar with it. Some of you might not be, probably not. Uh, and in the second video, we'll do the actual compare and contrast. Uh, so yeah, get ready. You're going to hear a little story called Brenda is a Sheep. Thanks. Hello. I'm Maura Egghood and I'm absolutely delighted that my book Brenda is a Sheep has been shortlisted for the Bookbug Picture Book Prize 2021. And this is a story which is all about Brenda and what an excellent sheep she makes. I really hope you enjoy listening to it. Now, I don't usually like to do spoiler alerts, but I'm going to make an exception this time because this is kind of a tutorial video. Uh, Brenda's a wolf. So you're going to find this out as we read through the story and pay attention throughout the book to the behavior of the character Brenda. Okay. Brenda is a sheep by Morag Hood. These are sheep. Yeah, those are sheep. This is also a sheep. Mm -hmm. No, no. This sheep is called Brenda. So, Brenda's a wolf. Brenda has a very nice woolly jumper. Brenda does all the things that sheep do. Because Brenda is a sheep. Ba ba. She doesn't look very happy, does she? So I'm glad he's pointing this out here because yeah, Brenda looks frigging scary. Brenda has her angry eyes on, Brenda's got her sharp teeth out, and throughout this book, Brenda looks like a scary wolf. He literally is pointing this out as he's reading it to the kids. The sheep learn lots of new games from their friend Brenda, like catch, teeth sharpening, and tag Brenda loves tag. But no matter how hard she tries, she can never catch anyone. They always get away. So here's what we know about Brenda's behavior so far. Brenda sharpens her teeth and then chases the sheep who clearly do not want to be caught. Seems like not sheep behavior, but wolf behavior. The sheep think Brenda is probably the best sheep they've ever met. But do they? She's so very tall, has nice pointy teeth, and her wool is all knitted and colorful. So, in fact, it sounds like these sheep are recognizing a lot of differences. Uh, they notice that Brenda is very tall, so Brenda's physically much bigger than them. Uh, Brenda has pointy teeth, uh, an aspect which is dangerous to them, which they do not have. And Brenda has artificial wool, so quite different. All the sheep want to be just like Brenda. <laughs> okay. But Brenda has other things on her mind. Brenda has a book called 101 Sheep Recipes! And that friggin' scary look on her face again! What the hell?! She's working hard on her special mint sauce recipe. 
The sheep have never had Brenda's special mint sauce, but she tells them it's very tasty. Yeah, it's mint sauce that you eat with sheep. This should be a red flag. You just need to find the right thing to eat with it. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Luckily, Brenda knows just the thing. She's getting ready for a feast. The sheep are very excited. Brenda tells the sheep to go to bed nice and early. She says there'll be a surprise for them in the morning. A delicious surprise. Oh, oh. Brenda has to wait a very long time for the sheep to go to sleep. But at last they begin to nod off one by one. Brenda counts them on her claws. One yummy sheep, two yummy sheep, oh. Three yummy sheep. So now we hear Brenda referring to the sheep as yummy. Okay, so now we're really getting clued in. Brenda is a predator. Brenda is making mint sauce to eat with sheep. She thinks sheep are yummy. She has a cookbook called 101 Ways to Cook Sheep. Brenda's a frigging wolf and she is a predator, and she is planning to eat some sheep. By the time Brenda wakes up, the sheep have made a surprise of their own. There's grass stew, and grass pie, and grass burgers, and grass lasagna, and grass sandwiches and grass sausages and for pudding grass biscuits with a delicious sauce to pour over it all this is not the feast brenda had planned but when she sees everything her friends have done for her brenda can't help but join in the fun because after all brenda is a sheep okay so, things did not go according to plan for Brenda. But let's not be confused. Brenda had a plan. Brenda throughout the book was making a plan. Brenda was sharpening her teeth. Brenda had a cookbook called 101 Ways to Cook Sheep. Brenda was practicing chasing sheep. Brenda referred to the sheep as yummy. This whole entire book, Brenda has been planning to cook up and eat some sheep in some delicious mint jelly sauce that she's been preparing. In the end, because of all the things that the sheep did for her, she didn't follow through with her plan. So I don't know if that means that because on this specific day, the sheep pleased her, she didn't go through with cooking them up and eating them. But for whatever reason, she is pleased by their behavior, so she doesn't eat them apparently, but this does not negate the fact that the entire time, Brenda was planning to cook and eat those sheep, okay? The story ends here, okay? But in the life of these characters, Brenda's a frigging predator, and Brenda has shown this behavior the whole time. The, the sheep should have been paying attention to it, and they weren't. The fact that she doesn't eat them now <laughs> doesn't mean that she won't eat them later, okay? She is practicing this behavior over and over again throughout the book. Whatever happens at the end of this story, it does not make Brenda any more of a sheep, and it does not make Brenda any less of a predatory animal. It does not make Brenda any less of a wolf. Heads up! Brenda is a wolf.